What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Venom from Spider-Man 2. Let's begin today's lesson by breaking down the basic shape of the head with some guidelines. We're gonna start on the left side of our page and sketch a line coming down the center. Start from the very top, and work our way down towards the bottom of our page. Now along the top, let's add another line going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side and then extend that all the way across towards the right. Now you use these lines to help us block out the top half of the head. From the center point, let's step up towards the top of the head. Just gonna mark this off. Now from this top point, we're gonna curve the head going out and then down in an angle towards that center line. Let's go back up to the top. We're just gonna round out the back of the head, coming around and then down, almost like a quarter circle. And then we're gonna move up and draw a straight line going across the top of the neck. Now from here, we want to add some shape to the top edge of the mouth. So starting from this point, then this up, and then down, then this out, and then up towards the corner of the mouth. Let's draw a short angle line coming down on the side, bend the mouth coming in, and then down. Let's add another curve coming out, and then down towards the bottom of the jaw. Now I want to round out the front of the mouth. I'm going to come down and then out. Angle is down and then in towards the chin. Now I'm going to go back and draw in the jawline. Starting up here, then this around and then out. Come down and then in. And then bend this around and then down towards the chin. Now from the jaw, it's going to curve the neck, going up and then down. Let's go back up to the top and draw the outside edge of the teeth. We're gonna start from here, angle this down and out, straight in. I'm just gonna bend that up towards the top of the mouth. Now I wanna see the inside edge of the mouth along the back. So we start underneath the teeth, bend this in, down, and then forward towards the jaw. Now we're gonna wrap the teeth around the back. So I'm gonna curve this down and then in. Let's add a curve along the inside of the mouth for the cartilage. Now from the inside of the mouth, let's add a curve for the tongue. I'm gonna come around and out, bend that up, come around towards the bottom and in. Now I'm just gonna curl that back out towards the tip. Let's add some thickness to the tongue. From the tip, it's gonna get wider as you come around and then in, and in towards the inside. I'm just going to blend this down towards the bottom of the mouth. Now, along the top, we're just going to add the basic shape of the eye. We're going to start from this line, bend this up and across, come up towards the left side, come in and then down. Just following the same curve of the head coming towards the front. Now that you have the basic shape of the head, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now you want to use this rough sketch as a guide to help us refine the shape and add some more details. Now let's start with the eye. We'll start from the top. I'm just going to add some points going around. And in. Just rounding out the edges. Now in the front, we're just going to curl up the brow. Coming up towards the top. I'm just going to work our way outside the eye. Just adding some folds. We'll go up towards the top and just add a hook. Coming in and then back around. I'm just going to lightly add some spots along the outside and the inside of the eye. Now just working around the back side of the head, we're going to add some folds. Going around with some bumps. Let's add a fold on the side. And just blend this out towards the side of the neck. And just working our way across the front of the brow. I'm just going to add some curves, some bumps along the front. Now with the gum line, I'm just gonna add a little bit more shape. Just adding this wave that goes across, come up along the side of the mouth. You can see that I'm lightly adding the sketch lines. I'm not going in too dark at this stage. Adding some more shape to the corner of the mouth and working our way around the bottom. Now we're gonna blend the cartilage along the side towards the gum line. We'll go up and then down. Just adding these little points along the top, just underneath the lip. 
and just angling them down and then out towards the side. Now from each of these points, we're gonna add a tooth. Just angling them forward. I'm just roughing this in right now. We're not getting too detailed with this. There are a couple smaller ones in behind on the side. I'm just gonna open up some of the cartilage on the side. Folds across the side of the mouth, down towards the jaw. I'm just gonna stretch the skin along the neck. Coming out from the jaw. And then along the back, I'm just gonna add some points. I'm just gonna add a little silhouette of teeth along the back side. I'm also gonna open up some of those I'm going to do the same thing across the bottom. I'm going to blend the cartilage along the side to the gum line. So I'm just adding these little bumps all the way down towards the bottom. I'm going to add some teeth and I'm just going to point these out towards the right along the side of the mouth. Again, just roughing these in. And as we come down towards the bottom, we're just going to angle these up. I'm going to give it a little bit of a curve, go a little bit larger along the end. I'm just going to add some points across the back. Let's stretch that skin across the front. And now I'm just going to trace out the tongue. Let's go back and quickly clean up our drawing before we add in any shading and more details. And now we're gonna start back at the top, just working our way around the eyes. Again, just adding some more folds and wrinkles as we go. Just blending into the spots around the eyes. Now we can go and just refine the points of the teeth.
And I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time adding those fine details around the head. So adding some more folds and wrinkles. Also some very subtle shading. Now we're going to go in and just darken up the inside of the mouth, starting with those gaps along the side of the gum line. And then we'll darken up the inside going around the teeth. I'm just going to darken up the back of the tongue and then fade that across. I'm just going to darken up the bottom of the tongue to create a bit of a shadow and then also fade that up. Now I'm going to switch to a pencil with an open sheath so I can shade with the flat edge. So I'm going to start with the neck first and just fade that out toward the left. And I want to push that shadow towards the edge of the jaw. Now we're going to go a little bit darker along the bottom of the neck. Just gonna have a little bit of a highlight along the top edge of the neck. And I'm just gonna lightly work our way around the eye. Again, just having a little bit of a highlight ridge along the top edge.
And we're going to cast a shadow coming down across the cartilage and the gum line on the edge of the mouth. And then go back and just darken up our contrast. Now as you get near the end, I'm just going to finish off our drawing by adding a little bit of saliva around the tongue. We'll also add some shadows across the bottom of the eye and then sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Venom from Spider-Man 2. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Hey everyone, if you really want to discover your artistic potential, then join our Club Masterclass membership. For just $1 a month, you'll gain instant access to exclusive members-only drawing tutorials, virtual art camps, and much, much more. Join our thriving community of passionate artists just like you and let your creativity soar. So just click that link in the description and I'll see you in the club.